weather means more people are using the trail system. A group of students has teamed up with the city to help make that adventure easier with an app. News Channel 15's Adam Salarzik joins us from IPFW with more. Brett and Heather, I'm here on the campus of IPFW where for the past three years an app has been in development to enhance the trail experience for the trail user and the city. Over the past 10 years, the trail system has grown considerably from 42 miles in 2008 to 107 miles in 2018. With so much more space to explore, the city asked the students in the Capstone Computer Science course at IPFW to help develop an app. Well, we have over 100 miles of trails in our community that are just waiting for people to explore them. We have a lot of trail users, but there are, there's always an opportunity for more people to find and use our trails. So what better way to do that than to have a trail app to use to find the trails. The app is called Viridian and has many useful features, including maps of the trails and nearby amenities. Users can also track their mileage and achievements, and the city will be able to notify users of trail closures and weather concerns through push alerts. But the feature many are excited for is the ability to report a problem. Users can pull out their phone, take a quick picture, upload it to the city through our application. Whoever goes to fix it will have GPS location for that, picture of the uh, issue, be able to locate it much more easily and take care of it. Of course, being students and creating an app at the same time can be difficult. Definitely trying to find the time to work on it as much as we have with full class load and, and working full time. That's, that's the biggest challenge is managing all that, all that time that it takes to develop the application. All that time amounts to almost 2,000 hours of work on the app just this year. The app is now in the beta testing stage as they work out any bugs that the application may have. All of this work helps provide the students with valuable experience. And a project like this helps put them on the map and really helps show that they can walk the walk that they've worked on through their degree here. Once again, the app is in the beta testing phase, but they hope to roll it out to app stores by this time next year. Reporting from the campus of IPFW, Adam Slarzik, News Channel 15.